I'm going to write mindset is something that a lot of people don't pay attention to. And if you fail to pay attention to having the right mindset, you would keep struggling as a person, especially when it comes to growing financially and becoming successful. Hey guys, my name is Tammy and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about why having the right mindset is super crucial to your success as a person and why you need to pay a lot of attention to your own mindset. Uh, let's get right into it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your family and friends. They might also find it insightful. So let's get right into it because one thing that people don't talk about enough when it comes to succeeding in life is the role the mindset plays. I like to start a conversation like this by talking about how a lot of times in life generally you almost cannot see beyond whatever your mind can see and that's why there's this popular saying that before you can make any money in real life you need to actually believe first off that you actually can make that money in your mind it sounds like motivational talk but basically this is emphasizing and showing us how important the mindset is to us as a person and the role it eventually plays in us becoming successful people overall and the truth is the things you think about the most actually become the things that would eventually happen to you in the long run it's only a matter of time and i've experienced this a lot of times and i'm sure you've also experienced it maybe when you're trying to write an exam in school or you're trying to do something new you just want to try out something new suddenly you might start dreaming about that thing it's not because you're a dreamer or anything it's simply because that thing has now become registered in your subconscious and automatically your mind starts drawing towards it and maybe you would have even seen in some other cases where maybe let's use a tesla as an example i want to buy a tesla i've never paid attention to a tesla and suddenly i said i want to buy a tesla you start seeing tesla cars almost everywhere and it feels like oh so everyone has a tesla it's not because there were no tesla cars before your subconscious now just pays attention to it and that's how our mindset works and if you're someone like myself from an average home or from an average background your mindset is super super crucial to how and what you would eventually become in life because uh, for an average person, if you want to have certain conversations, let's say where I grew up in Ibadan in Nigeria, right? I can have conversations about how I want to make 100 million in a month with a lot of the people I grew up with. They would look at me and think, this guy is an idiot. They just assume it's not possible. They don't see it as something that is attainable and that's because of their own mindset and the way they've been conditioned, right? And that's why there are certain things that determine the way your mindset eventually gets programmed and the way it has gotten programmed determines how much success you'd be able to achieve in life and how far you can actually go. And one thing that plays a very, very crucial role, which is the first thing, is actually your environment. You can never overemphasize how important your environment is to your mindset and how it eventually plays that very very crucial role to your overall success and let's talk about the environment like i said your environment is basically that place where you grew up in that place where you currently live in and this place determines the way you see things so growing up for me i never entered an airplane until maybe i was i think i was maybe 20 something right and growing up Almost everyone in my neighborhood saw getting on an airplane as some sort of achievement, right? It was something for a lot of rich people. And to me as well, it was a dream. It was some sort of luxury and all of that. Until I left that environment, I started going outside the box, and then it has now become something normal because literally everyone around me now flies, right? Because my environment has moved me from that point where I see flying on an airplane as some sort of luxury. Maybe of course, I still see flying a private jet as luxury, no doubt, because I don't have people around me flying that right now, right? But we've moved from that point where flying on an airplane, booking an economic class ticket, what looked like some sort of achievement or luxury to the point where <laughs> we literally just fly almost everywhere these days, right? 
it's just a point where your environment now improves your mindset and basically would make you see things in a different way and in a different light. The other thing that plays a very, very crucial factor in how your mindset is shaped is the family you grow up into. This is also very, very crucial. And this would come from the money belief of your parents, the way your parents think, and those things actually are passed down to you through influence. And a lot of times you would have seen maybe or had a lot of cases where people would say, oh, I didn't want to study medicine, I didn't want to study law, I didn't want to study engineering. I'm doing it because of my parents. Why? Because your parents have actually gone on to influence your mindset and now every other thing you're doing is because of the way they've actually conditioned you to think and actually now make you see life as a whole. And then a lot for a lot of us average people, right? your dad or your mom comes and say oh go to school and then when you go to school they're like oh get a job and then when you get a job they're like oh try to get a promotion and that's just the way they've been made to see life and they've passed it on to you on like the other hand where you see maybe people who actually grew up in wealth right they don't see things that way they still go to school but they are not going to school just because school is a path to success they are going to school because it's a place to learn and they understand so much about how knowledge plays a critical role in actually becoming like successful overall and maybe in running the family business and all of those things and even down to the environment this may be rich kids right they are talking about how maybe they want to buy a 10 million dollar private jet or something and then there is me listening to them like idiots look at them and that's why a lot of times especially for people like us or like the average person that grew up in my kind of situation right you would see that you would find yourself in positions where you see someone that talks about a certain amount of money or they are saying they want to make a certain amount of money and then you're like this one did ritual or this one wants to do ritual because you don't or you can't comprehend that someone can genuinely make that type of money without doing illegal stuff so you believe it has to be fraud or it has to be literal uh, ritual before they can actually get that stuff done but the truth is your environment and your family are not so much of things you can actually change especially as a young person right so let's say you grew up or like where you were actually given bed to you really have no control or influence over it right and then your parents <laughs> of course they're your parents you're stuck even if they are the most terrible people are like your stuff stuck they're still your parents right but there's one more thing which is crucial to how your mindset is shaped and that is the association you actually form this is the association you form yourself and this set of people you decide to work with can now make or eventually marry you right they would be those set of people that can move you from that point a where you are the terrible or scarcity mindset to the point b where you actually now start growing that abundance mindset and ditching the scarcity mindset right and that is why when it comes to choosing friends you have to be very very intentional you have to work and be around people who are intentional about their goals and actually are also on that pursuit for growing and improving their mind and one thing I tell people who are trying to improve their mindset is this you can't despise self-help books you need to read self-help books these books are those books that actually eventually motivate you and help you see that things and some things are actually possible and there's this uh, video I watched sometime and then um, it's from Biola Kazim and then he talked about how if you're from the average home or the average family you can't be normal you have to be mad about getting things done about improving your mindset and actually changing your circle so that you actually improve as a person and once your mindset is improved your whole quality of life your life improves as a whole and that's why you have to be very very intentional about the association you form and this goes down to how you now eventually start networking with people, the type of events you attend, the people you actually talk to. And that's why they say if you're the fifth person, uh, if there are five rich people and you're the sixth person, right, you would eventually become the sixth rich person. And then if there's, they also say if uh, there are f um, five poor friends together and you're the sixth friend, you would most likely become a poor person as well. So basically, the people you work with 
will be and determine who you eventually be, how your mindset is formed, and who you would eventually become in the long run. So you need to pay a lot of attention to those things, right? And one thing is this. There are certain opportunities and certain things that you can't unlock in life if you don't improve and work on your mindset. And you know, there was this time I was listening to the story of my mentor and how when he wanted to start his own business, he needed to move from Ibadan like to Lagos because there are certain places you move to that would also step up the way you actually start seeing life. And that's why you see that a lot of the top billionaires in the world, they're in the US because the environment allows them to thrive, right? So you want to leave that wrong environment that will not allow you to thrive. You want to go to that place where you become valued and you want to go to that place that actually helps you also become that person of value that pushes you to go outside the box and improve yourself, grow your mindset, grow your person and automatically you become a much more successful person all around and your life just improves as a whole. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And of course, please share this video with your family and friends. And I'll be making more videos like this. So see you in the next video. Bye.